Wow, you're huge. Hello. Uh, I'm an ant and I got big weird teeth thingies. Uh, no, don't hump me. That's not what I want. <laughs> Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more Fallout 3 mudded. Now, Bess is very hurt. She just kind of came running from over there after I ended the video and there was someone following her, one of those bugs, and I killed it. And there's another one here, it seems. It's all over the place. The kid wasn't kidding. Never stood a chance. Wait, I already killed you, so how come you never attacked me? Oh, you scared me, kid. Don't do that. What? Fine. Sold your friend here? That's good, I guess. <laughs> but the kid is hiding in that thingy that he said he would hide in, so that's good. He's alive, so that's a bonus. I don't know, just don't... Don't do anything, okay? Don't touch anything, don't do anything, don't say anything. Just stay there. But yell out your name, you come, okay? Another one over here. Also over there. One over there too. We're running this. Running this way. The way already cleared. Come on. Come right for me. Missing at least half of those shots, but it's fine. As long as I get them. All right, kid. I think I secured the whole area. This place is too destroyed to be a place I'm gonna have my uh, my town. I think unless I can remove a lot of this place. I don't know if it works. I can fall out four. This mod I have. But I doubt it. Abandoned home. Bess. Stop that. <laughs> Everything scares me. I don't know why I'm so paranoid. It's because I can die at any time. That is the house that the guy was in. Who was living here again? Mentats. I'll take those. Cigarettes, you know, I'll take those too. Sell for a good price. To drink something. Give me purified water, thank you. Has to be some ants upstairs. Doesn't make any sense that there's none in here. Not even a sign of struggle. Uh 
off out. No, nothing. Somebody's just hiding a lot of money in here and morphine. Drugs. Oh, this was a drug dealer. That makes a lot of sense. Bobby pin and a lot of alcohol. Maybe it's just someone who did drugs then. I don't I don't know. My observation skills aren't the best in the world. That is okay. Go out again. And finally explore the area like we should. That is the friend the Francis's house. Okay, let's check this one out. Egg of cigarettes again. It's too quiet in here. I do not like it. All related. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I hear a to our great national a terminal. It's true. The sun is warm, welcoming. And on the horizon. I mean, is it true? Wow. Like nights of yore. Can't open that up. Bats of ash and hickory. Their name, the Capitol Congressman. Their purpose, to make you here, America, revel in the joys of sport and sunshine. If only for an afternoon. Now, ask yourself. What if the Capitol Congressman could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland? Put your faith in John Henry Eaton, Great America, and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country Damn will... Handed. Will we meet again? No, none this of them give me a good kind of like link to how it works. Oma. No. No, no, none of them. What? Uh, race? No. How can I be so much off? See this. Uh, is there a thingy that lets me replenish? Let me replenish, please. It's removing a bunch of duds. I don't see any other thingies that can help me here. I pretty much just have one guess. Based off the other ones, raised it wasted. Sweet America. Hello again. This is no. President Eaton. I'd like to have a chat. Let's talk about government, shall we? Or more specifically, your government of America. The enclave. Just none of them. The Seriously? The enclave is you. The enclave is your sister, your aunt, your friend, your, your My sister? What? <laughs> Wait. The enclave is me as well. <laughs> as your president, it is my responsibility to preside over our great democracy. So, as your president, I am the voice. Can we hope to reach our full potential? 
This guessing stuff is not fun. Auto hang. I, I doubt it'll get it right though. I got it. Great. Thank you. None of them. None of them look like something that would work. The second? Okay. I finally found a quiet place my family. We've been running from one settlement to the next, just trying to keep out of sight. Now that I'm on the other coast, the family across the way from us seems pretty decent. The kid Brian likes to play with my son, which is great. It's hard for Will to make friends because we haven't stayed in one place long enough. Maybe we can finally put down some roots here and create it. Can I turn you off? There we go. I was scavenging some of the nearby buildings for junk to sell, came across a working radio. No sooner did I turn it on than I heard that familiar patriotic anthems they used to play whenever Richardson would give a speech. But this was different. Who the heck is President Eden? When did that happen? Are they on this coast too? Most importantly, will they come looking for me? I hope this journey hasn't wasn't been wasn't a huge mistake. So you're an enclave soldier gone rogue, are you? Some scientist named Lesko moved in with the Wilkes today across the street. They are helping him make some sort of structure on the old lot near the diner. Lesko offered to pay me cabs if I helped, but I declined. I don't know who he's working for, but I don't think they're still looking for me. Our supplies are running low and I need to begin foraging for food and some better drinking water. I'd have an easier time if it wasn't for the damn ants. I swear they have been in they have a nest around here somewhere. Whoops, wrong one. These ants are becoming a real pain in the ass. So much so that I had to take a trip to Megaton and buy a better gun to protect my family. It cost me a small fortune. I had to trade every bit of ant meat I had collected, but it was worth it. I'm teaching Frank and Sheila to use it. Just in case something happens to me. If one of you two are creating this or reading this and I'm gone, I keep the gun in the kitchen behind the old fridge. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to have to find a better way to protect Sheila and Will from those ants. Ever since Lesko came to town, I'm certain they're getting more and more aggressive. Wasteland ants are bad enough, but at least you can run away from them. These would seem to pursue you and the ends of the earth if they could. Call me crazy, but I swear I saw one of those start a fire the other day. I don't know how this could be happening. I've decided to dig up my old sidearm and keep it hidden on me at all times. If those things get too close, I'll blast the antenna right off their ugly heads. I can't believe I went through all that trouble to leave Navarro and make my way across the country. Just to get stuck in this shithole. I'll be damned if I'm going to die here. Now that we are cut off from Lesko and Wilkes, I think we are on our own. The damn ants keep trying to find a way to get inside the house. Even as I'm typing this, I can hear them scraping the walls looking for a way through. I don't know how much longer we can last. I mean, the, your bodies aren't here, so I don't know where you went. They didn't eat the bodies, did they? Behind the old fridge in the kitchen. That's the bathroom. Uh, behind the, this fridge? Ah. This is a 10 millimeter pistol. That's nothing special. What, what, what do you mean? It, like it was oh well I don't know how you could buy such a bad weapon for that much cash but you know that is up to you buddy hello anyone here nope very abandoned Wait, there's another one. Yeah, thinking you're pretty smart, huh, Ain't? I still don't know where you could have come from. Since I pretty much went this way already, but... You're gonna get other tries. And 
way to get back to Megaton, I tell you. Bess will be very proud. We need to look for a better place to set up a settlement. That is probably my first objective. I want to try. That doesn't look good. Wow, you're huge. Hello. Uh, I'm an ant and I got big weird teeth thingies. Uh, no, don't hump me. That's not what I want. <laughs> hmm. Red Wilkes. Oh, no, that's his dad, is it? I'm gonna I'm just gonna tell him that he died sitting down comfortably. I I said to God damn it. Well he There we go, that's comfortable. That looks comfortable enough. At least he died going down. Taking a few things with him. down without a fight oh oh all right you know and you see now we're talking about guns the 32 pistol was he still alive they'll be stealing his bed <laughs> Poor kid. Such a rotten place to live. Way too many ants everywhere. The shack key, huh? Wait. Password recording. Oh, that one, okay. This could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is Formesidai. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self, destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Formesidai. Where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is, com is a complete failure. I must return to my original formulas and begin the procedures all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions without proper laboratory equipment is to blame. Perhaps I simply didn't splice the correct genetic instructions or perhaps I'm fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula soon or I may not be alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. Sample location discovered. I found the perfect specimen for my experiment experiments inside Miracle Station. I've set up shop on the ground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last minute programming on my robot and it will be ready to perform the delicate injections. Soon I will prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the destruction of these misunderstood beings. Dangerous. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I have heard the rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to their original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic recording is this possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. My search continues as I tweak the formula. Aha. Uh -huh. So he... I need to go into Marigold Station. There was a station I saw when I was out fighting the ants. 
Uh, but I need to deliver the news first to the kid. Stupid monsters! Can't get me in here. Hello. Come on, tell me already. I think I have some bad news for you. Oh no. What happened? I'm, I would say this. I don't think I would say, Brian, I'm sorry to begin with. Your father's dead. He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. Fine, I'll take care of everything. Why don't you just forget about it and clear on out of here? My part is so this is all done. Sorry, kid. People die all the time out. They get used to it. I'll stop whatever started this. I promise you. Yeah, because I'm kind of disturbed about it. You gotta stop it. So this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Yeah, but you couldn't have. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Indeed, I will stop it. I just wish things would go back to how they used to be. Yeah, not gonna happen, kid. Sorry, Dad's dead. This gun is almost broken too. It was over here, right? And then straight over here. Am I going wrong? Nope, right over here. And no one noticed a doctor walk from that place to over here. That just seems a little bit weird. Oh great, there's a lot of them in here too. Oh my god. God damn it. At range. I don't see any. I see that one over there. There's nothing that can get me right now, right? They can't open doors, can they? I'd be very worried if that was the case. I don't think they can. Come on. Doors open. I'm gonna stop. Oh, you little rascal. Did that on purpose, didn't you? What? You're a real ant. Sorry, I had to sneeze real fast. Uh, sneeze, sneeze, sneeze real fast. Are there more in here? Was that it? I think that might have been it. Like my brain just left my head. That's how bad this sneeze was. Good thing I turned off the microphone in time. Otherwise, you would have had to cover your ears. No, no, no. Nothing up there. What about in here? There's a bunch of broken reactors and generators here. Hmm. <clears throat> Now, which way would make the most sense? Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're not dead. Okay, there's another one on the way. I need another gun. Probably one that's not about to break. 
Yeah, I don't really have any of those. A 10 millimeter, but that doesn't really do the trick. Oh wow, you you hit me from a pretty nice range. I'll give you that win. What is in here? The cement has created slash recording. Ouch. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you yeah. Have a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Girder Shade. Tell them Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully they won't find you too. Who's they? Whatever you're talking about, I'm not gonna do it, I don't think. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I don't think I'll do your dirty work. Package. Don't you be so secretive about it. Man, Just keep shooting. One day I'll hit right spot and they'll die. I hope. There's bullet in that one. Okay, seems like I am gonna have to use my. Better guns for now. I think. At least I think they're better guns. Alright then. Killed a bunch of those thingies. A lot of drugs that I can sell. This is back up, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I could have used mines actually. This seems to be pretty good against these guys. Maybe explosions in general. <clears throat> Let's jump all around in hopes of, you know, not dying. <laughs> more bullets. Come on, last one. Dang it. I don't have that kind of ammo, you know?
Not in here, right? It's up there. Open it up. Not the silence one, huh? I don't need you then. Back to the water. Yes, I'll take all of those. Thank you. Railway spikes. Dead person. What's all the way down here? Another ant. Oh, there's two. Okay, I was, I was wondering if I heard two or not. One hiding a little bit. The accuracy of these guns are not the best. And it's definitely not me that's the problem. Because <laughs> I'm aiming straight at his head. gonna save here. I don't know what this leads out to, but I'm gonna try to go out and see. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm, I'm going back again. I'm scared. Just scared to be there. At least clear this metro first. Another one hiding back there. Ooh. Oh, little land friend. Wanna watch a little more out? What do you do there? Oh. oh, never mind. Maybe I should watch a little more out. Since it's clearly crawling on the wall. Let me just turn up the audio music a little bit. Effects a little bit down, thank you. It's a little, it's a little loud. It's in some module. But there are people here that are dead. Uh, oh, you, you're that guy. This is where you went, huh? This is where you died. And who is... Oh, that's just the ant. Then down here must be where either... Oh my you god. Startled me. You, you don't say. Creep up on people like that. Yeah, you did the exact same thing to me. Creep up on you? I just grabbed my pants for crying out loud. That's no way to talk to a man of science. 
I don't have time for this kind of childish nonsense. I have some very delicate experiments that I must attend to. Experiments? What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh, wait! I'm a scientist! How marvelous! My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. You're trying to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs. My word. You understand perfectly. How marvelous. So then what's gone wrong then? Well, I'm afraid I made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. Of course you can't. I'm shocked you didn't attempt this in, an, in a controlled environment first. Why don't you be intelligent to say that? It's just decency. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. What can I do to help? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. And if the Queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Just months? Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. And just how will all this undo the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? I say I'll kill you afterwards. Um, this is a hefty task, dog. I'm going to need a serious incentive. Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. That sounds nice. Thank you, I guess. If I'll stop that, I, I'm running... Sure, I'll, I'm in. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. You're quite tenacious. I can tell him my work is done and he'll die. Oh, I'm pretty sure he'll run into that and die. What else can you tell me about these fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis. The ab I know that. quite radiation free, however. Okay. Well, as radiation free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. And how did it go from changing the size to breathing fire? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Will anything special hurt the ants? I'm afraid like water. they're not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Uh, just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. And how the heck can an ant breathe fire? The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. Okay. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw I call its calefaction array. Amazing, isn't it? What you're telling me is you change the genetic code backwards? 
and added it so they had a reason to be able to breathe fire. And so they can now breathe fire because it it's made a biochemical in their body when you change them. Dude. That is at least what I got from that. Yes. <laughs> I'm not a scientist, I don't know. I have to go now. Finally, a chance to recant my mistake. How marvelous. I'm probably gonna shoot you afterwards. Just sure no. Ant meat. I'll take this if you don't mind. I don't know, he had the right intentions though. I kind of want to shoot him, but I also don't. Because he had the right intentions, he just messed up. But if he makes the same mistake again, I'm going to have to kill him. Otherwise, he's just a loose cannon. We cannot have loose cannons. It's bad. Very bad. We gotta put him down. I gotta get back out there and fix a few other things. I suppose I could answer a few more queries. No, no, you cannot. Just don't make anything worse for yourself. Great. Let's really shoot it when it's doing that. I don't know what's with them always flying up when I shoot them. I don't add that much force to my shots, you know? There's one around the corner. Break mine. Oh no. I'm not dead. Okay, you just do that now. I'm just gonna sit there. I threw a mine at you for God's sake. No, there's no point in throwing a mine at you. I'm not even gonna walk into it. You're another. Uh, you're another one. I'm just disarm my own mine. I hear you. Come on, come on. I have one health left. Just still the same one. Nope, you're not the same one. You're a different one. I don't know how a dude can mess up this badly. There's another thingy I'm gonna check out though after this one. Saw the little area. If I can clear that out, it seems like there were people there that had set up base. If I can clear that out, then I should be good to maybe have in my own base. Ready safe key. Okay, so this is what the guy spoke about. Then where is the package? I have no idea what he meant by package. Just restart again. Yep. 
All right. Well, that is also going to be for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click that like button. If you want to see more from me, search for 8000 with that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.